Hi, I'm Kathy Mills and this is Ballistic. The last time Tom Waits played in Dublin was a 1987 gig in the Olympia Theatre. This year he's playing three nights in the Rat Cellar in the Phoenix Park from July the 30th to August the 1st. In between, he has written 10 albums of original material, four compilations, two musicals, appeared in 17 films and has written the score for four. That's a lot of words, an awful lot of songs and a heck of a lot of music. You could forgive him for wanting to make up a few new ones. Pesca Jumbo. P-E-H-D-T-S-C-K-J-M-B-A. Pesca Jumbo. Which in plain English means... People. Envy. Happiness. Dogs, though, sense courage. Knowing jubilation means better assets. OK, so that may be more of an acronym, but words we already know can still be pretty interesting. It's all about how you put them together, whether you're trying to tell a person what you think of them, or making something familiar a bit more interesting. But it's how you use them that really matters. Words can provide vital public services and sophisticated diplomatic discourse. So you're a killer? Sir, yes, sir! Let me see your war face. Sir, you got a war face? Ah! That's a war face! Now let me see your war face! Ah! the name Sophie Mary, but chances are you know her work. Since her first video, Groovy Dancing Girl, appeared online, she has scored over 2.8 million hits and also a sponsorship deal with French fashion label Eatem. So Sophie, the uh, first video, Groovy Dancing Girl, where did that idea come about? Um, it was just, uh, I had an idea when I was coming home from college on the bus that I'd uh, do a dance and speed it up to some music that I really liked. So uh, we used the Daft Punk track and I danced to it and it just uh, posted on the internet and got a mad response. Um, the ETAM campaign started um, when they rang me because they'd seen uh, the three videos I have of me dancing on YouTube. And they were looking for a new face to represent their new jeans line, which is like jeans for young people. It's called Denim Movement. So that kind of ties in with the dancing videos. And um, they gave me a ring and said they needed someone who'd been never heard of before because they're launching it and kind of spicing up the brand. So they gave me a ring and I went over there and did a viral video and a fashion shoot for them. Brilliant. So your first video, where did the whole idea come from about? Um, well, I thought of it when I was on the bus coming home from college and um, I'd seen that effect with hip hop videos before where they kind of speed it up to make it look kind of robotic. Uh -huh. So I figured it'd be good to do a dancing video that's slightly sped up and see if that what that effect would look like. So my friend Billy from Shank Hill helped me to do that. Like. Excellent. And do you have any sort of background in filmmaking or choreography? Well, I did dance as a child. So I did um, ballet and modern dance and then I love electronic music. I play bass in a band, so I've always been into music and I uh, do animation as well. I work in animation, so it kind of ties in with the movement side of things. OK, and was it like a conscious decision just to go with the first take and that's it? Yeah, it was more just like, oh, I'm happy with that, let's go with that. It, I didn't want to rehearse it or anything, and it was just one take, so we brought it upstairs and played it, and it looked grand, so Spur went with that. And it yeah, went. yeah, exactly. And I have got to ask this question where did the username Bang Toaster come from? <laughs> um, it was just uh, my mate threw together two random words, so we usually use Bandy as a slag word in Shank Hill, so it's just like Bandy Toaster. Very good, so keeping it at home. Excellent. Yeah. Listen, Sophie, thanks very much. No worries, best thanks. Of luck with everything. Thanks, Millie. Thank some gameplay footage for the much anticipated Gears of War 2 is now online and we took a sneaky peek just for you guys. This instalment takes place six months after the first and humanity is once again on the verge of extinction on planet Sierra. A fatal disease called rust lung is sweeping through the population providing the evil locust with their chance to extract revenge. So far we know that along with the return of Marcus Phoenix there's a host of new characters and weapons to kill them with. You will also be able to duel against other players and AI with your chainsaw bayonet. The second Emergence Day is scheduled for November. So that's all we've time for right now. For Ballistic, I'm Kathy Mills.